the blue rain is irritating enough as it is and now she has to chat with this paradise of woman too now patient is wearing thin and she has to actively control her emotions when are you planning to go back to paradisos why do you ask that you are in grave danger right now they should take you back the sheriff's capabilities are totally not up to par for someone from paradisos do you have a reason for insisting on staying here or is it because you can't go back the woman doesn't ever rouse gaze and slowly flashes a sincere smile did you hear any interesting rumors about me for example that i'm a disgraced and exiled paradisos noblewoman those are just people's speculations about paradisos it doesn't correspond to reality I have my reasons for staying here. Rahu remains silent for a while before speaking up. Let's cut to the chase. Your life is in grave danger, but the security force assigned to protect you is abysmal, and no one has come to escort you to safety. You've been cast here like a piece of meat thrown to a pack of wolves. It makes no sense. Let me just ask you straight up. Did Paradisos abandon you? Or are you their bait? Right there, it says, "Or you the bait?" It's "Or or are you the bait?" She even says "Or" very slightly. I don't know why. Maybe the the person who was writing that missed it for some reason. Are they sacrificing you just to catch the culprit of these attacks? If that's the case, will you give up your mission, Sergeant Rahu? I was taken aback by her question. I will keep you safe until the danger is gone. Is it out of sympathy? I'm an FAC soldier. Protecting you is my job. My work doesn't require sympathy. Then who assigned you this mission? It wouldn't make any sense to protect Bait. So, why are you here? The sheriffs here pleaded for help again and again. They were kept in the dark and caught up in this crisis. Those around you are innocent and so are you. The FAC can't just let all of you die like this. Grom looks at her for a long time before speaking again. I see. Thank you. Cuz you need to keep in mind uh, her the she was Rahu was never sent here by the FAC. She came here because she was trying to chase Paradisos. So might she might be actually interfering with Paradisos plan. The original plan will remain unchanged. But since you're here, I hope you'll protect me and catch the culprit at the same time. Also, I hope you don't get hurt from this dangerous mission. After a brief silence, Rahul lowered her eyelids, put on a mask. Let me walk you back to your room to rest. At last, she is the only one. The sound of rain against uh, windows casting shadows within. Rahul walks along the long co- corridor, heading towards the main door. No power, no background, a frail body, and not even a family member to seek help from. And that's why Paradisos chose her. No one will care if she dies. I don't understand if she is lo- literally nobody like why are the assassins coming after her? And what is that thing that floating next to her? Even if I save her and gain her trust, it'll be impossible to get to Paradisos through her. She can't even go back herself. That woman is useless. After a while muffled cackles uh, ring out from behind her mask. <sighs> <laughs> But the fish I'll catch seems quite valuable. Is does she have like double personality disorder or something? It feels like that. And uh, the bait was the assassin. You almost caught her. Why did you even give up on her? Just got to grab her. The Paradisos wants to catch a bunch of media killers. You old foxes. What do you want from her? If I catch him first, will you guys come to me? Just you wait. 
I'll bring the meat right to your mouths. You're... that FAC. Wait, where are you going? Don't leave! So she can go into the blue rain. I was wondering about that. She's just suppressed, but she can go outside. Um, this is very unrealistic. Most secret organizations like this would not just like show up at your doorstep. Like, come on. It's not easy to do this. Like, she would get assassinated instantly. Even if she is S class sinner, she would get fucked over immediately. Like, uh, if she starts looking into things like these. Um, I'm amazed she didn't get killed when she was uh, quote unquote saved from that location. Having you here is enough. I'm off to clear the real threat. It's morning already, but the race hasn't stopped. She leaves the villa and rushes to her destination. Hmm. A3. Drizzle. Wasn't it supposed to last for 30 hours? I guess it could slow down at least. Peaceful morning. Blue rain seems to slow down the enemy's pace. Amidst the soft drizzle, Rahu leaves her guard position and enters the peaceful early morning. Deep inside the fog. Hmm. What will I find in there? Uh, Floverdale High Street near Erica Villa, east side. Since the attack, the shopping district has been nearly quiet in the morning. Most of the sheriffs are guarding Shulom's villa, leaving only a few unlucky stragglers to patrol the surrounding areas. Wait, I've seen her somewhere. I mean, that uh, obviously I know that's the assassin from the quote-unquote shadows. But I've also seen her somewhere else. Was she in another event? Like, maybe we ca caught a glimpse of her at some point? I don't remember. On the other side of the rainy street, a woman holding flowers is walking alone down the quiet pavement. She nods to the familiar sheriffs as she passes by them, not bothering to inquire about their worries. She walks all the way to the tailor's shop, so upon finding the door unlocked, she freezes for a moment and closes her umbrella and walks inside with a smile. Ooh. It's too early for business. I wasn't expecting anyone. You scared me a bit. How does it even make sense that we didn't see her, but like Rahu quite literally caught her? How the hell did she not see her? Was she covered in shadows or something when she got her? That's fucking weird. It's too- oh yeah, whatever. Hello, dear customer. The shop is closed right now. If you want a custom-made dress, please come back in a few days. Rao doesn't respond. She watches as the shop owner puts her flowers in a vase. They're white carnations. Those flowers are very beautiful. Thank you. My husband loved carnations. He was fond of the color purple and said it reminded him of me. Oh, I've seen her on the sinner list. That's why I was wondering where I've seen her. The MILF. Uh, but I did not know her. She was married at some point. Um, makes sense, I suppose. Um, yeah. He worked for the FAC. He retired for several years due to his injuries but then got called to help out with the emergency in Syndicate. And that... <sighs> led to his funeral. The woman chokes up, uh, turning her head to wipe her tears. Oh, sorry. I just came back from the cemetery, so I'm still feeling quite emotional. I understand. Really? Did something similar happen to you, miss? Judging from your uniform, you're part of the FAC too, right? Though I can't make you a dress right now, you are welcome to take any flowers you like. If there are people you'd like to mourn too. There are. But it's not time to mourn them yet. Rahul goes to the window and draws the curtains. Maybe you don't know. But the situation in West District is really bad. Many have died, and it's taken quite a while to deal with the contaminated corpses. Memorial services have been postponed for some time already. If your husband died there, he won't be buried until next month. <laughs> 
Where exactly did you go mourn him, ma'am? I guess she was not married then. Only a milk. 